So our patriotism and love for country is the biggest weapon we have against everything that is happening right now at our disposal. We must remember who we are. You must remember who you are. A free nation, a nation under God, a free country. That's why so many people want to come here. But then they want to change it because they have the freedom to do so. Not a perfect nation, but a great nation. Still is, it always has been. But powers that be want to change it. Very soon, if we do not stand up for what we love and believe, our children, our grandchildren, will not see what you and I had just a couple of years ago. Borders are open. Soon, there's going to be more immigrants than Americans, period. That is a fact. Right now, there is more immigrants coming in than Americans having children for the first time in history. It is important that we keep this nation what it was intended to be, a free nation, a Christian nation, a God-fearing nation. Too many of us are sitting aside and just seeing it happen, waking up, getting upset and doing nothing about it. It is time that we stand up and that we rebel against what is not right. Stop obeying laws that you know are wrong. They are meant to destroy what we had. We need to stand together. We need to do more. Your country is being taken away from you and we're doing very little about it. This is not a Republican or Democrat thing. This is a you and me thing. This is a, an American people thing. There's so many people that criticize this way of living, but they don't leave. They come and never want to leave. And the ones that do leave are the ones that made all the money, made a great living here, but took it home and now they live even greater. I am from an island in the Caribbean. It's a beautiful island, but I will never move back. This is a great nation, and that's what makes my heart shiver. Because it's being taken away from us, and we're doing very little. Very little. It is despicable that the same people that say, that saying that you are an American, that patriotism, nationalism is racist, are the same people that go around waving the flags of the countries that they're coming from. The same people that say that America is not great, that this is a racist country, an evil country, are the same people that go around saying how great the country they're coming from to stay here is. And we allow it because we fill our mouths saying this is freedom, this is democracy. It won't be for very much longer. It just won't. We're losing our country. I remember as a child in my country watching TV and seeing American movies like Back to the Future and seeing, wow, what a great way of life. I would love to be there one day. Look how people are walking around free. They always have food on the table. They always have time to spend together. You always see the father as a provider and the mother taking care of the home and the children. This is a country that believes in the nuclear family. It always has. So why is it so bad now? It's actually racist to have a nuclear family. It's actually white privilege to believe in the Bible. We need that America back. We are losing our nation and we're doing very little about it. You have the Supreme Court justices appointed by President Trump voting for the border to be opened or the barbed wire to be removed so illegal immigrants keep pouring in. The Supreme Court voted for that. But well, thank God Texas is defying that law. I think a little late, but it's doing so. We need to take our country back. We need to do more of that, more of the defying of what is not right.
We are living in a time where if you say you're a Christian, a God-fearing person, you are a tyrant or a white supremacist or an oppressor of some type. But if you say you're a Muslim or any other religion for that matter, you are to be encouraged and you are to be praised. What do you think happens when more of them are here than us? We become them. Those countries are the way they are because of a culture, because of a mindset. When there is more of them with that culture and that mindset, we are bound to become them. Okay. You in your heart know that we shouldn't tolerate that. We're taking it in the chin. We're letting our children down. Very soon, they will not have what you and I had. This friction that you feel in the air right now is called momentum. You feel it in your spirit that something is off. But we need to now stick together, use this momentum, and take this nation back. We need to take it back. And again, not for you, not for me. We've lived good lives. Yeah, the last couple of years have been rough, but for the most part, we've lived a great life. Or you and I have lived a good life in a good nation but it's becoming a dump, and that's where we're leaving our children. We need to take our country back for our children. We are leaving nothing for them. We are always taking the moral high ground, and for us to not look bad, we are letting our children down. We need to be louder than them. We don't need to tolerate it. We do not need to get violent, but we need to be louder than them. We are supporting President Trump, but this is not about President Trump. He can't do it all by himself. This is about us as a nation, us as a people. It's actually considered white privilege to be good at math, to read the word, to have a nuclear family. Why are we tolerating that? We should not. We need to stop tolerating being called oppressors. We need to stop tolerating being called supremacists, racists, only because we want better for our children, just because we want to keep our country. We need to stop tolerating that. Stick together, one nation under God, indivisible.